you remember in 1999, the then Prime Minister Howard actually held a referendum, or he convened a referendum, on recognition of the Constitution, at the same time the Republic one was on. And both were defeated. In 2015, we, we embarked on a whole series of dialogues. We went around the country and held these dialogues. We were promised enough resources to do 38 of them. We got enough to do 13. They went back and said, you can go out and consult with people. I said, well, we'll consult with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. How are you going to go about it? And they said, we'll do ours on, by social media. And we said, well, we're not going to do that that way. We're going to go out and talk to people. So we held the 13 forums around the country. So they were very structured in a way. They were a deliberative process. We made sure there were 60% of the, the participants in the meetings were, had cultural authority from land councils, tribal groups, tribal traditional owners. We made sure that 20% of the people were from the organisations, the ones who deliver all the services, who knew what was going on. And we made sure there was enough room for individuals, so 20% had to be for individuals who didn't have a voice.